I'm Kelly Swoop with this update. A man protecting your votes attacked early in the morning. Now police need your help finding the shooters. The shooting happened just before 5 a.m. this morning on Pinewood Avenue. That is in the northeast part of the city next to the Reginald F. Lewis High School. City police believe the gunmen were not going after the ballot box, but were focused on robbing the guard. The city's election director says having security at the box is required. The state mandated that if a camera was not exactly on the box, that we would need to provide 24 hour security on each of the boxes that we've placed in Baltimore. We've placed 32 boxes in Baltimore City and all of them either have security camera or security or both. The ballot box was not touched. The guard was taken to the hospital. We're told he is expected to be okay. An incident at the Baltimore County Board of Education meeting is under investigation tonight. Toward the end of the meeting, participants heard what sounded like pornographic noises. Numerous people, in addition to board members, were online at the time, so it's unclear where the noise was coming from. The Board of Education released a statement saying we regret that this incident occurred and are looking at what steps can be taken in the future so nothing like this happens again. The Maryland Office of the Inspector General for Education is now looking into it. That portion of the meeting has been deleted from the publicly available record. Rain in the forecast as we head into your Friday last day of the week, needing the umbrella as you head out the door and you'll need it as I'm going to be tracking intermittent showers throughout the day here, especially as we head into the late afternoon and early evening. The cloud cover and the northerly flow is going to keep it cool. We're talking about being nearly 20 degrees cooler than the numbers that we saw today. Only going to warm up to 60 degrees in Baltimore and most other locations only warming into the upper set of 50s. So definitely going to be a chilly day where you're going to need that jacket on standby and cooler temperatures for the weekend holding into the low 60s through your Saturday sunny and dry warming as we head towards the beginning of next week. Highs floating in the low 70s through next Thursday. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in our app store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.